let's go. Top of the morning, friends and family. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? You guys having a good day so far? Prepare for your day to get even better, all right? Well, what am I doing? I'm going to the vet. Fun times, fun times, good times, great times. No, it's it's not the best times going to the vet. It's, uh, it sucks to have to go to the vet, but sometimes you have to go to the vet. You keep animals, you're gonna end up at the vet. Hopefully, if, you're, <laughs> if you need to, then yes, you will go to the vet. I've got RJ in here, and his eye is swollen. It's like it's filled up with fluid. And I checked for retained shed, and I, the last time he shed out, he shed out good, and the, the eye cap came off, so there's something else going on under there that's causing him to, you see, compared to the other eye, it's got this swollen thing going on. It doesn't look good. It's all filled up with fluid. Definitely gotta get that checked out. Here's my little travel thing. I get it plugged in here. Travel, 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 container, travel, container, travel tub. Some people might think I'm crazy for having such a crazy travel container just for a 40 minute drive, which is how long it takes me to get to my vet. But you know what? I am a little crazy. I like to be as comfortable as possible. You know, a little, little temperature change as possible going on through the whole process because going to the vet is not like he's going to have a birthday party or something, you know? It's a beautiful drive, actually. You get to go right by the ocean. It's like, it's a nice, it's a nice relaxing. Take, take a look. That's what color he is. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. Whoa. Thought you'd enjoy that. Okay. As far as vitals go, that's all we are going to get. So, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Wow. Junior's definitely a hit with the ladies. Oh my goodness. This is our eye that we're having an issue with, yeah. I'm assuming. How long has it been looking like this? Since just before he shed a week ago. And then when he shed out, it was still like that, so. So I will go get Dr. Khan up to speed. We will be right back in and we'll okay. get uh, underway with our exam. Thanks. Well, hopefully the doctor has a good answer for us on what's going on here with his eye. Only can hope. Hey, how's it going? Good, how you doing? Max Khan. All right. Well, let's see what's going on here. Probably got fluid trapped underneath that spectacle. Right, that was that was my thought. It's happened a couple times, mm -hmm. and it's gone back down on its own before, but now yeah. it, now it doesn't seem like it wants to. Anatomically, um, that, that should probably drain through a tear duct. I think the implication will be that the tear duct is maybe blocked. I'll have to look into that for you. Yeah, mouth looks okay. Any other lumps or bumps anywhere? Not that I've noticed. Everything else seems to be pretty, pretty good. He's never refused a meal. Okay, good. Even in spite of how he's looking now, huh? Yeah. Good. Well, give me a second to just investigate a little bit on treatments. It's been a while since I've seen fluid trapped under a spectacle. Um, give me a few minutes and I'll be back. Okay. Look at what a good snake junior is, man. He just he just sits here, chills, waits to hear the prognosis. That's a good snake right there. I mean, how many retakes do you know that would just sit here and wait? I 
it usually happens when the lacrimal duct is blocked, which is what I mentioned before. It's usually because there's no outflow of that fluid. Because like for us, we have like a little duct right here in the corner of the eye that drains into our nose. So when we cry, our nose gets stuffy. You know, that, that's normal drainage. Well, these guys don't have tears that run over top of the spectacle. That's dry. The tears kind of run underneath it. Right. But they have to be able to drain. So they're being produced. And if they're not draining, it's going to fill, 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 fill. Which is basically what we have is this, you know, this spectacle that's been stretched way out. So, you know, it mentions the causes can include ulcerative stomatitis, which is like what you might call mouth rot infection in the mouth. I'm not seeing evidence of that here. You can have problems with like, where the, the duct just doesn't form properly. It's not, it's like too small. So it gets plugged really easily. Trauma, burns, blockage from like a granuloma or, a, or like a cancerous mass. And then as far as like fixing it, what, they, what they've done here is they, they do a wedge resection. So you can see in this eye, there's like a wedge that's been cut out of the spectacle. So that fluid can drain out that way. But it does mention that it usually has to be repeated after shedding because you know that incision will heal and then it won't be able to drain again, it'll happen again. Kind of like what you've seen is that, you know, it's self-corrected probably because that tear duct is popped open at some point and it's starting to drain again. It like goes back down in size. As far as I know, there's no good way to flush a tear duct in a snake. I mean, we do it in, in mammals, but I mean, their tear ducts are much bigger. And yeah, I don't even know and how much more accessible. accessible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So as far as things without anesthesia, I mean, I suppose we could stick a needle in it and try to drain the fluid that way. He may have a retained spectacle there. I, it's hard to tell. I mean, you, yeah, no, it's tough. Yeah. It you could shed a little, it's a little irregular around the margin, so it makes me think maybe there's an extra layer. I tried to give it the white right after he shed because it uh -huh. was still inflamed a bit or it was still you know en engorged mm -hmm. and i tried to do a couple little wipes and it didn't you know nothing came so yeah it's kind of like you said didn't want to push it so it may be worth i mean we can we can always gently there's kind of some gunk up under this lid there All right, he's fixed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was pretty smooth, though. Sometimes you get nice and comfortable. It's like uh, everything just kind of comes out. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. You have a nice day. Oh, you need this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Tonight, I'm gonna feed him an extra big meal so that I can help him do the shed cycle. Let him go through shed and hopefully get any stuck stuff off. Because the eye's drained right now. But as the doctor mentioned, there was no way for sure to tell if there was some kind of an infection. So I'd I'd like to play on the safe side rather than give antibiotics right away when there's potentially not something that antibiotics are gonna help. You know, I do the same thing with myself. I, if I go sick, I don't go straight to the doctor and get antibiotics. I try to let my body fight it off. Let my own bacteria do their job. I don't want to kill off any of Junior's good bacteria if it's not gonna help him at all. We'll keep an eye on it for now. It's definitely not life threatening. He's not even going to lose his eye or anything like that. So at this point, I'm just going to keep an eye on it, induce that shed cycle and go from there. Let's get home. Home again, home again, lickety split. All right, let's check out Junior's eye. Definitely looking much, much better. I think we're happy about that for now. Like the doctor said, it might fill up again, so we're just gonna keep an eye on it and hope for the best. Right, Junior? You feeling better, bud? A little bit of pressure relief there? <laughs> All right. Now this is sticks for Tail. <laughs> 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 How many horns it has? It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow! So, do you remember what that kind is called? No. Should we go get your your identification? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it looks like a Styracosaurus. Yeah, and this is a Styracosaurus. Uh -huh. It has so many words that it's 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 WrestleMania!
What do you know? I know. I know. Stegosauruses. What about stegosauruses? That they have plates and they're herbivores and that means they only eat vegetables and leaves and their tail also has um, spikes on them. And that's all. No, I don't know that. I much love T Rex. <laughs> I know T Rex. What about T Rex? Because T Rex has sad teeth. Oh, yeah? Sharp teeth? Yeah. This is sad this. What is this, Daddy? Bite. What are you doing? She does has teeth. A tail. A tail, Daddy. Does have a tail. And teeth. And teeth? No, has feet. Feet? See? Oh, yeah, feet. And. Legs. Legs? Yeah. That's big and that's at all. Man, I always gotta make sure that microphone's on. You know, one of these days I'm gonna get myself a microphone that I don't need to turn on so I don't have to ever, 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 ever have to deal again with not getting the audio turned on when I'm shooting and losing all my speak. Cause I speak a lot these days. Way more than I used to. And I wanna make sure that it's heard. Otherwise I just gotta cut all the footage. It's gone to nothing. So, I had a request for a feeding video. People really wanna see a feeding video. So I'm gonna fulfill that request because I personally love feeding videos myself too. So we're gonna check that out, you guys. But before we get into that, I mean, man, it stinks like rats in here like crazy. The feeding response should be crazy. I mean, the smell in here is just it's like, holy shoe. Holy shoe. Before we do that, I've got a few shout outs I'd like to make to a few people very special people, some of our Patreon supporters who without, we wouldn't even have cameras to film anymore because they all break. I don't have money to pay for them. No, no, but seriously, thank you guys. Sarah Hoyt, Drew Bonvenuto, Marshall Plants, Le Marshall Plants, <laughs> Marshall Platts, Liam Armenta, Greg Touche, Louis Saiz, my buddy Shannon Smith, Lori Johnson, and of course, last but not least, Mr. Garrett Hartle. Thank you guys so much for your support on Patreon. It really has been huge and a big help and thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you you guys want to see some snakes see some rats is that what you really want to see is that what you're here for all right let's make it happen let it go junior yes let it go it's not what you're looking for bud Get out of there. Let it go. Let it go. Uncoil it. You don't want that. That's not that's not a rat. That's not a rat, silly. I'm not a rat either, okay? Yeah, let it go. Let it go. I'm not a rat. All right, I gotta put this thing back together. I guess I don't really need the microphone for doing the feeding video. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Hold on, I gotta get the rat, donkey. Holy crap. Okay.
feeding. Man, that took her, that girl about three hours to eat that rabbit. That was a long time. I was sitting here filming it the whole time. And <sighs> between that and the vet and needing to go to sleep. And look at Eli's face, man. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh my gosh, seriously though. Thank you guys for joining us today on this epic day of days. And man, I, I, I'm done. <laughs>